I'd better be... There's a weird symbol in the poem underneath it. How he made a carrot flame. After drawing on rock, a symbol all in white. Grinding white to powder makes it ripe. Then add black in turn. The kind you should be loath to burn. Black and white as they combine. The inside of your vessel line. Then three more things. Tree skin, tree fruit. And lastly but not least, a root. At the crossroads, draw a circle with the powder mix obtained. Put the vessel in the centre of the powder ring, thus gained. Set the circle bang on fire. The carrot flame leaps higher and higher, and I will swallow it in haste to enjoy the lovely taste. I always use it to practice magic tricks. so grey again today. When I was young, there was nothing but fields here as far as you could see. No, but seriously, since they built the supermarket next to the school, it looks even worse down there. School, with only two days of summer vacation left. Then I'll be stuck down there in a classroom again. Now that's an even worse thought. Uh, although, that means there's still two days of adventure left. Uh, no. Uh, no. Nah, that's not a good place for the can. Yeah, I have the feeling the order isn't quite right. Uh... No. Uh, no. The stone is too slick to draw, and I don't want to put it away yet. The stone is too slick to draw, and I don't want to put it away yet. An excellent place for me to draw with the chalk. I will draw the symbol from the flying letter. There. Huh? Cool. How cute. It almost seems like they want to tell me something. And now they're gone again. Hmm. Looks like they left something by the mushrooms. How strange. The squirrels left a piece of bark here in the mushroom circle. I'd better take that. supposed to do with such a heavy rock? I can't carry it very far. I'll put the heavy rock back. That's really hard on the arms. Crumbled chalk, but unfortunately the pond smells so fishy in the summer that you can't eat anywhere near it. Not even a bite of black and pie. What am I supposed to do with such a heavy rock? I can't carry it very far. That's really hard on the arms. Bam! It pulverized the crumbly rock, just like the poem described. Pretty cool. Now I've got fine white chalk powder. That feels good in my hands. It's not going to go bang anymore. The black powder's leaking out. 
feeling the order isn't quite right. Uh, I have the feeling the order isn't quite right. Uh, I have the feeling the order isn't quite right. That would do it good. Fits. It's in. Uh, I have the feeling the order isn't quite right. I'd better hold on to that. Also in. Uh, I have the feeling the order isn't quite right. The throw ships are cool, but disappointingly useless. Ha, I could do this in my sleep. Whoa! Look how many I got. <laughs> Not bad. Yep. Okay, now everything is in. Okay, that should do the trick. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Conjured it up. Yeah! I knew it. Practice makes perfect. Hazelnut is nuts, they said. There's no such thing as magic, they said. They'll all eat their words. The great Zaroff experienced the greatest illusionist of our time. But it doesn't say when and where the show is. How strange. The poster looks pretty old, too. I wonder if the trunk here belonged to Zaroff. I'll just take one of these posters. Oh, there's a rip in the lining of the trunk lid. Well, a little rip is no big deal. That's easy to repair. Uh-oh. Hey, there's a magic wand in the lining. It always looks like somebody hid it there. Full of equipment for a magic show. It says the great Zara on the poster. Is this his stuff? His top hat? Whoa, holy cow! What? Again? Man, oh man, magicians really need nerves of steel. Uh, no. Whoa, holy cow! Come on, pull yourself together, Joe. I bet it's just a pesky raccoon. <laughs> or a magic message. Top hat and magic wand. All right, Jerry. The time has come. You've been training for this for years. So, Abraka. since I last drank a carrot flame. Ah, permit me to introduce myself. I am the Marquis, the Marquis de Hotel. Oh, but you're, 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 
Arictogulus cuniculus sapiens. Yes, indeed. Oh, oh, well, I'm Jeremiah. Jeremiah Hazelnut, the boy with the dream. What? You know my name. I know much more than that. Your summer vacation ends the day after tomorrow. That's right. Unfortunately. Mathematics, leaky pens, hard wooden benches, dry chalk dust. You human children are so brave. Yet you dream of more. The murmur of the leaves in the wind. Ah, it reminds me of home. Where's that? My home? It's where I'm remembered. Yes, but where exactly? I can... I can... What? Jerry, tell me, what's your greatest dream? I practice magic tricks in my free time, but... Oh, what's the point? I want to be a magician. I know. For I am a magician. Beloved, feared, needed, and extremely brilliant. My goodness. Will you be my apprentice? What? Absolutely. Travel with me. Beyond the boundaries of the imaginary. Study the five fiery mantras of the Phoenix Conjuration and master every single facet of magic. Well, not all of that. This is fantastic, but... But? My mother says I have to be home for dinner. Jerry, your training will take days, weeks. Then I probably won't be able to. True training in magical disciplines, the study of the art of arts, all of this takes time. Such a long time, of course. And even time itself is an object of study for magicians. He who studies time, needs time. Oh no. But Jerry, listen to me. Forget impossible. For a magician, nothing is impossible. On a day in summer vacation, anything is possible. I promise you that you'll be back in time for dinner. Are you ready to trust me, Jeremiah? I am. You carry a certain coin. What? How do you know that? It has a very special coin. Where did you get it? I, I don't know exactly. It seems like I've always had it. Don't worry, Jenny. Everything which is lost will turn I, I always used to practice my magic tricks with it. Look through the hole in your coin. Its magic power will grant you a new view of the world. What you'll see is magical evidence. From now on, the coin will show you what might be helpful in your dream. Take good care of your coin. My magic will protect you from being forgotten. We're leaving this world. We have no time to lose. After all, you want to be home in time for dinner. You will need this. Jerry, do you remember what I told you? Uh, nothing is impossible. And soon it will no longer sound like a question when you say it. Place, Jerry? Sure, that's the old park. I am sure that you have sensed that this is a special place. Special? Magic. It's easy to get lost in places like this. Hey, I'm not a little kid anymore. Even adults can become lost in the woods. 
Do you sense something? I hear a, a rumbling. Use your coin, Jerry. Oh man, a toad! It's gigantic! The magic of this place allows it to survive here and grow, forgotten by time. But just as with any other power, magic too can be misused. Like the power of this portal. Then we intervene. We? The magicians, the tree walkers. Tree walkers? I thought I was a magician's apprentice. We tree walkers use magic portal trees to travel back and forth between different worlds. Different worlds? Places, times, and possibilities form an almost infinite number of worlds. You will be trained by me in the tradition of the tree walkers and acquire this ancient knowledge of walking between the worlds. Uh, that kind of sounds complicated. Uh, it's quite easy, almost like riding a bicycle. Really? No. At worst, it feels as if you're being ground to a powder between two contradictions. I, I don't understand. None of us do, but you learn quickly. Portal tree? What does that mean? Portal trees are trees with roots that reach deep into the fabric of reality, so deeply that they exist in more than one place and time, creating magical connections. Some use these connections to move back and forth among the worlds. As do we tree walkers. But how do you use a portal tree? This is where magic begins. Wow. Go through the portal, Jenny. From now on, casting magic and wandering between worlds will be an important part of your life. Isn't it dangerous? I mean... Hey! Whoa! Someone is in it. Four. Four nails. We must hurry. We shall ride the wind. As we have always done. like the woods we have back at home. And it's somehow... Here we are. But that's a... With, with a backpack. The farther we go from the portal tree, the more clearly you will come to realise that we have left the world you know far behind us. Only the parallels here at the portal tree suggest a connection. Such as this wall. Follow me, Jeremiah Hazelnut. Another world. Before you, Jerry, lies Mount Wow! Here you will complete your training. Where's the school? And, and all the teachers' nights? This world is full. Its trees send their roots deep into the earth and create connections like the one we use to get here. This world will be your school, 
and its inhabitants will teach you many things. This place may seem unusual to you, but soon it will be an important part of your life. And then, once your training is complete, you will see the world with the eyes of a tree walker. So follow me, young hazelnut. <laughs> Wait, wait. I know this must still be overwhelming to you, but I need a moment. Just wait here, I'll be right back. I'm going to announce you to the town council. All right. Wow. Being this small is really interesting. Who would have thought that mice have towers? Well, hey! 